Hi everybody, it's Libby. I'm here today to do a Kriya for the glandular system, for the lymphatic system. And the lymph is in our armpits, some in our neck, we've got some in our groin, we've got some at the back of the knees and we've got some in the ankles. The most important ones are sort of under our arm and in our necks. And you know when you get like a cold or you've got something, your, your glands sort of start to feel a little bit tight or, you know, painful, they can swell up. So they are for our protection against um, immune uh, problems. Um, so we need to boost our immune system as much as we can. And I'm just going to read a little bit of uh, information about what goes with this Kriya, because it's quite interesting. So Yogi Bijan was the author, uh, not the author, he was the teacher of Kundalini Yoga, and he wrote quite a few books as well. Um, but this is some of his words about this Kriya. He says, when the lymph glands aren't doing their job and the lungs aren't working properly, dead cells and mucus in the lungs do not clear out. If this continues, continues, ultimately you could get seriously ill. In ancient scripture, there was a the saying, when anything above the navel point goes wrong, it's almost a permanent problem. Below the navel point, a problem can always be cured. So this particular kriya works a lot on the upper um, part of the body. So if you've not done Kundalini Yoga for you before, we tune in with a mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, and we say it three times to invoke the, the golden thread so we can connect with the ancient practice and the teachers that came before us. And also we, we chant Ard Garenamé, Jigard Garenamé, Sat Garenamé, Siri Gurudev Enamé, which means um, it brings a protection around us invokes a really strong magnetic energy around us and keeps us feeling nice and safe. Okay, so let's tune in with this Kriya. Um, we're going to do some warm-ups first and then we'll move into the Kriya. The, the, the video, video will be about an hour. Okay, so make sure you've got something to practice on. Uh, a yoga mat would be ideal. I'm sitting on a little sheepskin as well, just because it's nice and cosy in here. I'm in my studio. I'm in my uh, healing practice where I practice from and this is where I do one-to-one -one yoga as well and it's a little bit of an office space as well. So it's multifunctional. Okay, so take a nice long deep breath in. Hold the breath and as you exhale take your energy down into the earth and feel connected down into your roots. Imagine roots going down into the earth and properly connecting to the energy of Mother Earth and go right down. Send those roots down. Open yourself up from the healing energy of the Earth through those roots and feel really connected to Mother Earth right now. When we're feeling out of balance, when we're feeling a little bit out of sorts, just going into nature can really change things. So this studio is out in my garden, I can hear the birds singing, you might be able to hear them. It's a very peaceful space. So as we next breathe in and breathe out, just connect into your roots and then inhale through those roots, bring it up through the pelvic floor, through the hips up through the body and as it comes up, you just imagine yourself growing a little bit taller, making sure the spine is nice and straight. Hands are in namaste, palms are together and the chin slightly in. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, let go. Breathe in and deeply, press into those hands and exhale, release. And on the next breath, we'll chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Jigad Garenama, 
Sadgare Nama, Sirikara Deva Nama, Adgare Nama, Jigadgare Nama, Sadgare Nama, Sirikara Deva Nama, Adgare Nama, Jigadgare Nama, Sadgare Nama, Sirikara Deva Nama. Inhale deeply. Press into those hands, pull up the root lock, sexual organs, draw the navel back, hold the breath, hold it. Feel all that energy coming right up from the base of the spine, right up to the crown and beyond. And exhale as you release. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to warm up the spine, we're going to do a little warm up. So you're going to pop your hands on the knees and we're going to create a circle going around the body. So we'll inhale as we come round and exhale as we come round. So inhale forward and round and exhale forward and round. And we pop some music on, so just tune in, get into that breath, closing the eyes and just try to be very physical in your body right now. Really breathe in deeply. We're going anti-clockwise first. Try and keep the eyes closed and let's put your attention up to the third eye. And then inhale to centre. Exhale, let go. Now we'll go the other way, so we're going to go clockwise. Just a little bit longer.
Okay, and come back to centre, take a breath in. Lift up, bring the chin in. Hold the breath. And exhale. So we're taking three minutes on each of these uh, warm-ups, which we, we should be doing at the start. So we're going to be doing three warm-ups. The next warm-up is camel ride. Now normally we hold the ankles and we do our little flexes. Today I'd like you to take your hands on your knees so you can make the movement a bit bigger. So we really move in the upper back. So inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Closing the eyes. Inhale forward, exhale back. Attention to the third eye. You can go a little bit bigger, a bit deeper. And then inhale, lift, bring the chin and hold the breath. And exhale. Okay, so stretch your legs out. And we're going to come into cat cow, but we're going to do moving cat. So we're going to do the alternate leg movement. So we're going to bring the, yourself onto your hands and knees. Have your hands nice and wide. Take the weight through your hands. Knees and feet are together. We're going to inhale as we stretch the leg out. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, stretch the leg out. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, out. And exhale, nose to knee. Just continue. So this is working lovely in that lymphatic system, in your legs, in your hip joints. So really focus on pushing that leg away. Exhale, inhale, exhale. down for a moment, just come down into child, release your hands. Okay, so come to the side, so setting up for cat, we're doing the other side, inhale, exhale,
And then inhale as you stretch the leg down, outwards. And exhale as you come down. Just for a moment, just coming down, forehead come down onto your hands, just let go. And then slowly, slowly come back up. Okay, so come back into sitting. And we're going to start the Kriya. So just get yourself into centre. I'm going to take the hands, I'm going to place them over the head as if you were like wearing a hat. And your thumbs are going to go into your ears. Don't do it yet, so otherwise you won't be able to hear me. But you're going to put the thumbs in your ears, you're going to put the hands on your head, and then we're going to move from left to right. Inhale left, exhale right. So again, we'll close the eyes. We're going to do about three minutes. So move to left and then to right. So the hands are up, thumbs in the ears, and we'll go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the eyes closed. Focus on the third eye. And then inhale to centre, sit up nice and tall, keep the thumbs in your ears, hold the breath, pull up the root lock, and exhale as you release. Okay, so the next movement, the hands are going to start sort of into like, a, a, a hands are in a fist, okay? So you're going to take the thumb to the mound of the what's called the um, mercury finger and the mercury finger is your little finger so the thumb comes to the mercury finger on both hands okay and the hands are going to be pointing up to the sky so we're going to up and down up and down okay so inhaling up exhale down inhaling up exhale down okay keep the hands quite close together 
and you're creating a nice sharp angle, yeah? So we're gonna be doing for about three minutes. This stimulates the glands of the arms and the chest. Okay, so let's get my clock ready. So starting here, nice long deep breath in, and exhale, and then we'll start. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the eyes closed, focus on the third eye. Go. We've got one more minute, make it a little bit more stronger. Really get those arms moving. And then inhale, stretch the arms right up. With the fingers, hold the breath. And exhale as you come down. Okay, so next movement. Really just get the lymph moving. And it also helps to strengthen the energy around us, our electromagnetic field. It's a little bit like lion's um, claw, claws. Okay, so the hands are up towards the ceiling. The hands are kind of curled in a little bit. They're not flexed. It's like the cow. So we're going to take the arms up and over, yeah? So we're going to go over the head. So we're alternating, alternating the arms rather. So we're going up and down, inhaling up and exhaling down. But as we do it, we're breathing in and out through the mouth. So it's a Okay? If you can come back to the knees, that's that's the career. But if you can't get the hands to the knees, then put them on the floor. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So close your eyes for a moment, just focus yourself. Inhale and exhale, and just feel into the electromagnet, electromagnetic field around you. That's your auric field. And when this is strong, we attract good health towards us. We attract abundance towards us. When it's a little bit weak, we can throw out a little bit of negative, and we can go into that feeling of uh, insecurities, we can feel fearful, we can go into drama. So we need to keep this electromagnetic field nice and strong. So hands on the knees, slightly soften the hands, and we'll stop. Remember, we're breathing in and out through the mouth. It's not fire breath where you're really pumping your belly, but it's a 
Yeah, so it's like a, a soaring sort of, sort of sound in the mouth, okay? So we'll start. Keep the eyes closed, focus on the third eye. Draw your attention upwards, keep with the breath. One more minute, keep going. Nearly there. And then inhale, lift. Hold the breath, pull up the root lock. And exhale as you slowly come down the auric field. Let your hands sit on your knees for a moment. Just focus on your breath. <clears throat> so a couple of breaths. And then slowly come back. So next movement. Thumb is going to come to the fingers again, the, the index, uh, sorry, thumb come into your little finger on both hands. Then you're going to curl the hands in to make a little fist and the palms are down. They're going to be, they're going to be outwards. So we're going to inhale and exhale, sorry, inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So it's in, exhale, in, exhale, in, exhale in exhale so it's always in here exhale inhale exhale and what this does it helps to balance the lymphatic system but it also helps to bring us into a place of feeling very calm because it's working quite a lot deep into the the glandular system and it's, it helps to switch on the side of the central nervous system that induces rest and relaxation so it's very good for just calm in the mind and the body okay so thumb comes to the little finger the mercury finger Hands curling, palms are down. So inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale. In. So go at your rhythm. I'm going to be, make my breath a little bit uh, more shallow so it doesn't interfere with your breath because sometimes you can hear my breathing, you have to think you have to go to my breath, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so it's inhale, arm straight, exhale, inhale, exhale.
Keep, still keep your eyes closed. And then inhale, take the arms to centre, hold the breath, and exhale as you release. Okay, so next movement is frog pose. Turn this music down a fraction. Okay, so frog pose, slightly different to our normal frog pose. So we're going to be on our heels, off our heels. But the feet are facing forward for this one. So the, normally the feet are outsplayed like so. The feet are forward. And the hands are on the outside of the knees here. And we're going to look up and we're going to keep the eyes looking up as we inhale and exhale. We keep looking forward. So we're inhaling here and exhale. And we keep looking forward. We're trying to keep the heels lifted. Okay, so I'll go on to the side and do it with you. Okay, so we're going to do it for a couple of minutes. So the hands on the outside of the knees not like we normally do, yes? It's slightly different. So we're inhaling, eyes looking forward, stretching the legs and exhale down. Inhale, eyes stretch and exhale, eyes look forward rather than the set. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep the eyes looking forward. I know if you're used to doing the frog with you bring your head in, you can go into that habit. So try and keep yourself into that space. Being in the present moment. Inhale, eyes up forward, exhale down. We're nearly halfway, we're doing really well, keep going. How are we doing? Keep going, a little bit longer. Really good. Inhaling, exhaling. Nearly there, just a few more. You feel it in your legs. <laughs> so it's three minutes all together. And then inhale and exhale. Stretch out your legs, give them a little release. Oh, that gets some things moving, doesn't it? Okay, so the next movement is going to be cycling. Okay, so we're going to go onto our backs and we're going to have our knees close to the chest. And then all we're going to be doing is cycling. Okay, so go down on your backs. 
Bring your knees to your chest and check the time. The hands, sorry, the hands are behind the back, behind the back of the head. If you've got the camera. Okay, so hands are behind the back. Interlace the fingers, just cup the hands around the head, okay? So we're just gonna be doing cycling. Close your eyes. Really get those legs, they're actually cycling. As if you were cycling on a cycle, on a bicycle. You might want to close your eyes and really just get into the practice. I can't imagine you going uphill, so you really put some effort in those legs. Keep going, got one more minute, I think, or well, maybe a little bit longer. Now we're halfway through. A little bit quicker. Imagine you have to come right up that top of that hill. That last little bit. Whew, it's really tough. So keep moving, put some effort in those legs. Nearly there, just a few more. Nearly there. And then inhale, stretch out your legs, point your toes. And then so bring your arms back, bring your knees onto your chest. Give yourself a little hug, to rock from side to side. Okay, so the next movement is shoulder stand with, again, with the cycling. Okay, it's only be for a couple of minutes. If you can't do shoulder stand, you can just do that first movement again. Okay, but if you can get yourself into shoulder stand, okay, we're not going right up into a huge shoulder stand. She's not a half shoulder stand. And again, you're doing the, the cycling. If you go right up into it, you can do it, but a lot of people will find that quite quite challenging, okay? So just do your best. I'm just gonna sit and look at the time while you do it. So getting into shoulder stand and starting to circle those legs. Two minutes. Okay, so we've got one more minute, I'll join you for the next minute.
Just a little bit longer. Okay, then inhale and exhale. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to inhale as we drop the right leg down and up. So it's like scissors. So you're going into plow with one leg. Nearly there, just a little bit longer. And then inhale, bring your feet right down to the floor and slowly roll out. And you may want to slide down for a moment, just enjoy the rest. Feel that lovely energy moving through the lymph, moving through the body bringing the energy up towards your heart. Okay, so we're going to come back into sitting. So we're going to take the right hand onto the heart and the left hand's going to come over. So we're just in this position, the palms are facing away. We're just like to close the eyes for a minute. Just press through the hands, keep the arms nice and wide and just focus on the third eye. And feel you breathing into those armpits, breathing into the lymph. As you breathe out, think about clearing all of the lymphatic system, all the to toxins. Just cleansing with the breath. So anyway, coming back to centre, so we're going to inhale, we're going to exhale, inhale and exhale all the way down. So it's inhale into halfway and exhale. So inhale here, exhale, inhale and exhale. Nice slow breath, inhale in, exhale, inhale, exhale halfway, inhale and keep your eyes closed. And then come back to centre, take a breath in. And then we're going to come all the way down, placing the hands on the floor, bring the forehead down and just rest here just for a couple of minutes and just really connect into your breath. We're going to start to do quite a heavy breath of fire for a minute. So it's a pumping at the navel. <laughs>
inhale and exhale completely and just stay there for a couple of minutes just to let your body relax and as you go into that practice think about bringing in a silent prayer for yourself breathing in and bringing the energy of abundance bringing the energy of self-love releasing tension bringing the energy of compassion you really feel that you're just replacing any energy of fear and replacing it with a high frequency of love and light. Bringing that compassion for every human body, every human on this planet. Bringing the energy of love. And then you should take a breath in, slowly coming back. Just sit for a moment, just let your energy just circulate around you and through you. And then if you'd like to lie down for relaxation, I'm going to play my um, air gong and then I'm going to play the drum at the end to bring you back. So we'll have a five minutes relaxation. So lying down, you can lie down into Shavasana, legs are spread out. Put yourself ahead on a cushion if you need to. Palms are facing up to the ceiling. If your back's troubling you today, then rest with the knees together and the feet apart. You can place your hands on the belly if you wish to, to connect with the breath. <clears throat> listening to the gong, the wind gong. to a moment of quietness. And 
just going into the energy of the earth now and connecting to Mother Earth. So just sending your energy down into your roots. Just ground yourself. Take all your energy down into it. Feel yourself nice and anchored. <clears throat> and then slowly moving your ankles, moving your wrists. Take your arms over your head, give yourself a nice big stretch. And just you yourself, bring your arms back, bring your knees onto your chest, give yourself a little hug. You might want to rub the hands together and the feet together. Stimulate your reflexes, and then pop the hands underneath your knees and then rock in on the spine a few times before coming back into sitting. Okay, so we're going to chant sat now just to close the session, placing the hands into the prayer position and closing your eyes. Take a nice long deep breath in and exhale it out. And another breath in. And exhale it out. And on the next breath, we'll start. So. those hands and then as you exhale bring the hands down to the earth and slowly slowly come back thanks everybody i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you again soon sat everybody thank you